Okay, so we're here at our open pit full of hardwood charcoal, and we're going to start cooking off this bottom round flat to make some pit beef with. And the first difference between, say, Texas barbecue and Baltimore barbecue is the obvious open pit as opposed to what you might find in Texas, which would be a closed pit with a lid or a brick with doors. So uh, we're going to char this up over the charcoal for a couple of hours, flip it around, cut the fat cap off, and get ready to make sandwiches out of it. Okay, so now we're at the point with this pit beef that uh, it's been cooking for about a half hour, 45 minutes. We've rendered a lot of the fat on the top. We've gotten a nice char on the bottom side of it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something that they would not do in Texas barbecue, and that is we're gonna trim the fat cap off. In a Texas style barbecue, they tend to leave that on as part of the finished product, and you can pick it off if you don't like, but we cut it off ahead of time. It makes a better sandwich without the, all that fat on top of it. So. What do you do with the fat pieces? Oh, they're just going to go into the fire, make the fire flame up a little bit more, add a little smoke to the room. But they're pretty much a waste product at this point. So as you can see, there isn't much to trimming the fat cap off. Get a little And then we flip it over, and we're gonna continue cooking that until we get a nice char on the other side, and then we'll be ready to start slicing it and making sandwiches. So what we got now is our finished product. We got a bottom round flat that's been charred on both sides over the nice hardwood charcoal with the flames and the seasoning, and now we're gonna let it rest for a while. Okay, so we just got an order on the screen for a nice rare pit beef sandwich. So now we're going to take our finished product, which we've cut in half to make it easier to handle, and we're going to make a nice rare pit beef sandwich. Now the reason we use a slicer is because we can get nice, super thin slices of meat coming off of it that just melt in your mouth when you go to eat it. So thin, it's only got one side. Juice bath, which is cheating. And we just throw it over the charcoals, give it a nice little finish. A little extra smoky flavor gets into it. And then on a the roll, it'll go. Good stuff.